All right, we're here with the um, uh, at the Mesquite Fine Arts Gallery for this month's Artist of the Month, who is Juanita Becker and Linda Foss, president of the Virgin Valley Artist Association, is going to give us a quick tour. Um, but everybody needs to come down and see all of these pieces in person. They're just magnificent, a lot of fun, very, very good art. Okay, Linda, let's start up here in the top. Okay, thanks for being here, Barbara. Um, we have Juanita Becker of St. George, Utah, as our Artist of the Month for October. Juanita is a longtime member of Virgin Valley Artists Association, and she is a consummate artist in several respects, particularly watercolors. And uh, we have primarily a display of watercolors here today, although we do have a couple of examples of her dry media uh, work as well. Uh, Juanita has a very long history in art, uh, including working for pottery companies as a designer. And oh my goodness. She, she is just terrific. Uh, we're so glad that she's exhibiting with us this month because this is a special month for us when it's Arts Month in Mesquite. Now this painting that you're focusing on right now, you may recognize. It's I do. It's called uh, One Day in the Sun and that big purple ribbon was awarded to Juanita by the uh, judges in the September display called Desert Treasures. Uh -huh. So it is uh, fortunately held over for a second month to be part of her Artist of the Month wall. Yeah. I think one thing you'll see about Juanita's work is that she has such brilliance and depth to her watercolor. I like this one right here. It's a beauty. That's called Broken Fences. Yeah. And. Honestly, she has such great composition, but the thing that really attracts me is the beauty of the colors that she brings us in each one of her paintings. Mm -hmm. And you can see her love for horses. Yeah. I think you're focusing on, well, uh, Nugget is on the left in the paintings. Uh huh. Scout is in the center. Okay. And Two Bits is on the right. <laughs> Juanita is definitely a horse lover. Yes. And it shows in her beautiful watercolors. Yes. And I like this one too, the flowers. Oh, is this beautiful? This, Birds this of takes paradise. Me, yeah, it takes me back to Hawaii. Oh. And here you can really see what I'm talking about as far as her depth of color in using watercolors. A lot of people just don't get that. Um, that same quality that Juanita does, and that's a sign of her mastery of that particular medium. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Here's a beauty. Desert Companions. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> some made it, some didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, you, you do have the life and death because you yes, have the flowers and then you have the, the cattle skull. Yes, we do. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this I like this one. I like the water yes, again, watercolor in this. Broken spokes. You know, I'm, I haven't ever talked to Anita about this particular painting, but from what we see here, where you've got that um, uh, mesa in the background, this possibly could have been a reference to the family that uh, that met their end up here, very near Flat Top Mesa, because uh -huh. they broke the spokes on their wagon wheels. Yeah, and that's uh, that's very possible that she was referring to them in this uh, painting of hers. Yeah, and this one kind of goes with the oh, Birds of Paradise earlier. Yes, Hidden Beauty. What a beautiful water lily painting. Mm -hmm. And look at the the water bubbles on the lily pads. Yeah. Really fine, fine work. And that's not a photograph. That is not a photograph. No, that's Juanita Becker's art. How does she do that? <laughs> We're going to have to get Juanita down here to tell us how I she know. does that. Yeah. Because obviously it's just a matter of how she applies her paint to the, uh, to the paper or how she doesn't apply paint to the paper. Because in some of the bubbles, you see where it's very white making it look like it is reflective uh -huh. and that would be the paper showing through it's a negative space um, technique oh man okay it's beyond my talent 
well, which I have none of when it comes to art. We do have watercolor classes here, Barbara, <laughs> so think about it. <laughs> uh, this watercolor by Juanita is called Grand Opening Soon. Of course, uh, like waiting it. for the cactus blooms to uh, completely blossom in the spring. And this uh, won the award of first place in the Art in the Park uh, display this last spring in St. George. So oh. Anita is a very decorated artist, and uh, we're just really pleased to have her as a member here. Yes. And now we have something totally different from our Artist of the Month, Juanita. Yes. Um, like I said, she's quite diverse in her talents, and she is a terrific jewelry maker. Um, she uses really fine quality of semi-precious beads and uh, the seed pearls. So the jewelry that she brings to us is uh, a collection that any person would be proud to wear. Um, her pieces really are nicely done and uh, beautiful colors. I think I have some of her jewelry. <laughs> Barbara, you've been a very good supporter of the gallery, so I don't doubt it. <laughs> well, it's so beautiful and it's all unique and it's one of a kind. And, and there's such a variety. I don't see why I would want to go to some place that, you know, has the same old thing. And that's what I like about shopping here for my jewelry is that it's so different and it's so interesting and I know that it's quality made it's all handmade so mm -hmm. you know I really have become a connoisseur of the um, jewelry and at the gallery and we're thankful for people like you because that's <laughs> why our artists are here they want to show off their best work and they're very happy when people are able to perhaps spend a few more dollars to get a higher quality of, of jewelry uh, from us here at the gallery. These make just wonderful gifts, too. They do. My girlfriends are very happy that I shop here also. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda, well, thank you again for your um, time and your tour. And um, once again, you know, the, the art here is just spectacular. And um, people come on down and spend an hour or two just walking. Um, it's very calming here. and. That's one of the other reasons why I like to come. So thank you very much, Linda, and we'll see you this weekend for the Gold Butte Festival in Mesquite. Thanks, Barbara. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Okay, thanks.